Well, I pretty much well completed my mini lathe project here. I ran into one other problem, uh, and that's vibration. These things don't have a lot of weight to them. Uh, the bed there is hollow, so it ver reverberates through there quite a bit. So one thing I did is I changed a three-jaw chuck out to a four-jaw uh, self-centering chuck. It's heavier. Uh, that certainly made a difference. And then uh, if you look at this little barbell set I made, you can see the little striations in there. That's all from vibration. It reverberates down through your, your uh, tool. So that was a problem. I didn't like that. So what I did, move this out of the way here, is I went down to the local tire store, and they gave me a whole bucket of the lead weights they have off balancing the tires. So I melded those down and poured it in there. And the way I did that is underneath here, it's just flat. So I just put a piece of wood underneath there uh, and put two posts underneath there on each side to hold it up and just filled this up full of lead. I got it for free, so no big deal. So I filled it right up to the crossbars in there. And that just made a huge difference. You don't want to go any higher than that. Uh, because you might have something sticking down off your tool holder here down on the bottom and it may run into it if you go up any higher. I, that's why they have those uh, little notches cut out of those uh, sidebars there, crossbars. So that really made the hugest difference. The lead soaks up a lot of that vibration. The lead is dense, you know, and it really worked out well. It didn't cost me a dime. Uh, just took me a little bit to heat it up on the stove in a pan. Uh, I ruined one of my wife's pans. She didn't love me for that one. But anyway, this is the final uh, episode of the mini lathe upgrade. Like I said before, I got a whole bunch more uh, quick change tool posts here. I got them from all directions. So I'm pretty much well all set. I've been making things like crazy. Uh, you can see I did get my uh, knife sharpener on there or tool sharpener on there. We'll kick this on. You can see it's nice and quiet. Tool sharpener spins nice. Everything's perfect. Uh, so this ends the episodes of uh, upgrading your mini lathe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.